Danger Dolan. From intense genital mutilation to dining on fecal matter, we look at 15 disturbing scenes in movies. Number 15. Misery, hobbling. Is your captive best-selling writer trying to escape? Or then does Annie Wilkes have the solution for you? This scene is an iconic one in horror for its visceral feel. We really are caught up in the deranged environment that Paul is captured in by his crazy fan. And she brings out the sledgehammer and you feel your own ankles crack. The fact that this is based on a real methodology of stopping miners from stealing diamonds adds to the disturbing nature of the scene, which makes it a classic gut-wrenching cinema scene. 14. Invasion of the Body Snatchers, the final shot. This might be the most tame in terms of content, but the context is what makes it so disturbing. This is a scene from the first Body Snatchers remake, which is iconic for being terrifying. After climactic and ambiguously ended climax, we see our hero Donald Sutherland presumably still hiding among the alien duplicates. One of our other remaining human heroes spots him on the street and approaches. He turns to her and lets out a blood-curdling alien scream, giving us one of the most traumatizing and disturbing endings for a film. While the original Body Snatchers ended on a similar bleak note, the 70s version outright kicks you in the nuts. To make matters worse, the credit plays with no music, letting you sit there in the dark with no hope or comfort to grab onto. Number 13. Deliverance Squeal Piggy Possibly the most well-known male-on-male rape scene ever put to film, so much so that squeal like a pig instantly conjures disgust. What makes this so disturbing is how helpless our protagonists are. They are degraded and violated out of nowhere, and we are forced to watch every grueling minute. Harrowing experience that you just want it to end, especially with the pig noises thrown in. Surprisingly enough, the Nickelodeon show Rocco's Modern Life had a joke related to this scene in an episode. The thing is kids shows could get away with 20 years ago. Number 12. Audition Vomit Feeding. This Japanese horror film features a number of disgusting and disturbing moments involving needles and tortured men kept in sacks. The worst of these though is when said tortured sack man is revealed to our protagonist and Asami, his captor, vomits into a doggy bowl before feeding it to the man. It's a brutal and disturbing scene that focuses on the joy Asami gets from keeping the man captive. Don't watch this one on a full stomach. Number 11. Unchen Andalao. Slicing the eyeball. This scene goes away, way, way back. Almost 90 years. Which says something about its unhinging nature. Unchen Andalao is a silent film by surrealists Louis Benuel and Salvador Dali. The film is a 15 minute series of images that make no sense with each other, and that was the intention. The most iconic though is when we see a woman's eyeball sliced open by a straight razor. It's almost the first image of the film, and considering the age and unflinching nature of the shot, eyeball juice coming out and all. This would be hard for audiences to handle today, let alone almost a century ago. Number 10. The Accused Bar Rape. One of the most brutal gang rapes ever put to film, The Accused stands out as it shows the horrible nature of the bystander effect, as well as the disturbing violation of Jodie Foster. The film graphically shows a crowd of men holding down and then taking turns on Foster over a pinball machine, while others at the bar watch on in horror. Added to this is that the film was based on the real-life rape case that happened in 1983 at Big Dance Bar, Massachusetts. It highlights the twisted nature of sexual assault and makes the audience feel like just another bystander in the bar. Number 9. Inside is a particularly harrowing French horror film that constantly teases you with a will-they-won't-they they premise for its runtime. The premise, though? It's whether or not our psychotic villain will actually cut open our victim Sarah's womb and steal her unborn baby. Yes, this film is all kinds of fucked up. As you can assume, the film does go through with its stomach churning threat and shows us in full detail the murderous removal of the child, with every scissor snip making you want to vomit. Number 8. Under the Skin, Baby on the Beach. So this movie is famous for showing Scarlett Johansson in her underwear and less, but it's a movie with a tense atmosphere that keeps you on edge, none more so than in an odd scene on a dangerous beach. We see in the background of a shot where the woman is trying to seduce another victim. A dog swims into a rough swell of waves. A woman then follows into the water attempting to rescue the dog, but she too is swept down. The husband then runs in after her along with the swimmer that Scar Joe was trying to seduce. The swimmer gets the husband back to the safety of the beach, but he immediately runs back into the water. 
Exhausted, the swimmer collapses and nearby, a small baby is on the beach alone, crying, almost surely to die. It's gut-wrenching to see the small child alone, calling out for help that won't come. The scene is so random as well, it really speaks to how tragedy can unfold so quickly and leave us with such horrible outcomes. Number 7. American History X Curb Stomp I know what you're thinking, how could a film about neo-Nazis be disturbing? Well, let's just say that this film about racism isn't one for the whole family. American History X is the number of brutal scenes, but none more so than with Edward Norton crushing an African-American man's head under his foot. It's incredibly sickening and highlights the brutality that racism can cause between people. While we don't see any of this in graphic detail, the cinematography still works in a way to make us feel disturbed and slightly sick. Especially with the satisfied look on Edward Norton's face after he murders that man. Number 6. Antichrist. Clitoris Circumcision. Now depending on which type of genital mutilation freaks you out more, there are two very disturbing scenes in Antichrist. One is William Dafoe's penis ejaculating blood after being hit with a rock. The other is a clitoris being cut off during violent masturbation. Take your pick really, it's pretty fucked up. Lars von Trier has recently set about on making films with very explicit and violent sexual imagery. Antichrist is very well known for this. This is not one to watch with your significant other, unless that's your bag. No judgement here. Number 5. Old Boy, Vow of Silence. This movie features one of the greatest fight scenes ever put to screen. It also features one of the most heartbreaking incest plots ever put to screen. We don't want to give away too much for this brilliant South Korean film, but the end tongue mutilation is incredibly hard to watch, as our protagonist slices through his mouth organ with a pair of scissors. The gruesomeness of the action, coupled with the tragic reason he does this, makes the whole affair hard to watch. Number 4. Irreversible The Rape Clocking in at 11 minutes long, this has to be the most brutal rape scene in cinema history. Taking place in an underground walkway, the scene is one long singular take that just keeps going and going and getting harder and harder to watch as it goes. Makes you want to turn away and stop watching as the man horribly continues the evil action. The director has said he wanted the audience to be confronted and disgusted with the sexual abuse in the film, and it is very effective at bringing that out. It's hard to watch the scene without getting angry and upset over the disgusting actions portrayed on screen. Number 3. Nymphomaniac Volume 2 Kitchen Abortion This is one that is only in the extended cut of the second volume of Lars von Trier's Ode to Sex Addiction. Most of the film is fairly explicit, but it's the home abortion scene that leaves you stunned. With every part of the procedure shown in detail, you keep waiting for the film to cut away, but it never does. Even showing the fetus now dead outside the womb. It's hard to watch, and the agony of a self-performed abortion is palpable for the audience, leaving you shell-shocked for the rest of the movie. Number 2. A Serbian Film, A New Genre So this set out to be the most disturbing film imaginable, but for the most part, it's a little too over the top to be truly disturbing. However, one scene does make its claim to being the most disturbing movie much more valid. Newborn porn does exactly what it says on the tin. It's ridiculous and even silly, but damn is it a disturbing concept, pushing pedophilia to its absolute. Scenes like this though that make you realise the film is just trying really hard to gross you out. Well congratulations I guess Serbian film, you fucking succeeded. Number 1. Salo, the whole film. What can be said about this extravaganza of body mutilation, orgies, and shit-eating torture? Pasolini's last and more notorious film is about a bunch of Italian fascists during the last days of World War II taking their sadistic fantasies out to the fullest. They capture a group of teenagers and take them prisoner to a villa where they submit them to a series of brutal sexual requests that, yes, involve eating fecal matter and multiple rapes. While critics will tell you it's a representation of the corrupt political system in Italy at the time, one that Pasolini frequently spoke out against, that makes it no less disturbing to watch and will leave you scared and tormented as the credits roll. That's it for this countdown. Have a go